I am again using a uh, high frequency linear probe. So, let us start with the first compartment itself. The first compartment is abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis that is over the radial stylet over this area. Okay, I will put my probe over there. Okay, so once I do that, have a look here. This is the orientation marker that means in the screen orientation marker points towards the dorsal side. Okay, so this is the dorsal and this is the ventral side. One can see the, that is the stylet of the radius. So, there are two tendons on the top of it, the bigger abductor pollicis longus, the smaller is extensor pollicis brevis. The two tendons are very nicely separate and we can see the tendon sheath on the top. Okay. Whenever there is a decurvance tendosynovitis, that tendon sheath will be inflamed, there will be hypoechoic fluid around it. So, this is the first compartment, this bigger tendon is abductor pollicis longus, the smaller is extensor pollicis brevis. Okay. If you see posteriorly that is a vein that is kind of compressed there. The superficial branch of the radial nerve that is there that lies exactly in the top of the vein it crosses over like that. Okay, So, superficial radial nerve I will show in a separate video. So, that is the first compartment radial is longus and brevis and then this first compartment is your abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. Whenever there is a, this is the first compartment, you can see those two tendons. Whenever there is a decurvin stenosynovitis, we do the injection from here to here. Put the needle from, put the needle from here for a decurvin stenosynovitis just below the probe actually and target on the top just below the tendon sheath there, we go from this side to this side.